There we go. Fung, let's get on with it. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, could you tell us what happened? I suppose I could do that. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, just stretch it a little bit since it's been a while since we've been on. Um, we, uh, arrived at the two, uh, Sporlina's village and, uh, basically met her parents, but so the villagers are very xenophobic, so we, uh, didn't get a very warm welcome and the chieftain himself didn't want us there at all. And in order to attempt to convince him, we tried going up to the temple where he was praying, uh, but we were blocked by his daughter and her two friends. And they said, nobody's allowed. And Sporting is like, what the fuck are you talking about? Everyone's allowed in the temple. And so we all knew something weird was going on. Uh, Kurtz made his way inside with Alora's head to, uh, to try and uh, see if there was a problem with the chieftain. And um, come to find out that he'd been infected uh, by another one of the space uh, seeds that was a little bit more mature than the last one we fought. And, uh, it was, we, it was such a powerful curse that we couldn't, uh, remove it. Um, and so we decided to get the whole village involved, started a ritual where we all planted ourselves naked in the ground and, uh, attempted to, that was required, but I love it. <laughs> uh, Sporlina said it was required. Oh, um, of course, yes. It's required and... Super required. <laughs> uh, we're just all naked, and the 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 funglets are looking at me like, "What the fuck are these guys?" Uh, <laughs> prank you. <laughs> uh, prank war. Um, so yeah, and uh, during the ritual, um, due to some really really unlucky uh, and very narrative roles, uh, I think two random villagers were uh, burnt to ash, and uh, both Sporlina's mother and father were cindered, uh, except for their- Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm fucking mad at Jesse. I forgot. <laughs> it was all random. I plead. I plead. <laughs> and uh, that's, pr that's pretty much where we left off, was at the end of the ritual, and uh, I don't even think we had a chance to really talk to each other. We- Finished the ritual, the uh, uh, seed was transported back to whatever plane it originated from, and now there's just a hole in the middle of the temple, and charred uh, lines emanating forth from the epicenter. Mm -hmm. All right. Dan, you have five seconds. How are you? How's life? All right. Things are uh, coming along. Almost done with the moving. Moving sucks. Yeah. <laughs> You're about to enjoy that. <laughs> yep. How's work? Ditto. Oh, same old, same old. Slightly less bullshit than it had been in the past. Still bullshit. Good. Uh, you surviving the heat wave? Yep. Yeesh. Same All old. Right. It was like, what was like 105 today, I think? Jesus. Ew. Mm. All right, well, you guys, let me get some dramatic music going. Uh, let's see. Character death. That's a good good music. All right. You all stand surrounding the circle in the temple, the crater where the seedling had taken root, and a hole where the root had gone and bored beneath has collapsed in on itself as the seedling is no longer there. You look upon the villagers and the druids around you. Several are missing. Sporlina, you look on to look for your mother and father. And where they were before, a pile of ash remains. Kurtz? Um... Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to get out of the ground, buddy. Put some pants okay. on. Put some pants on. And I I'm gonna need you to uh, I'm gonna need you to fix those piles of ash into formed funglets again before I fucking lose my shit. Do you, do you uh, want a hand to hold in the time being? Please don't use me as a punching bag. Uh yeah okay let's do it. Um. We can, you can upcast the Revivify, correct? 
I, I will I will hold Cinna's hand and I am squeezing tight. Oh god, it, it kinda hurts a little. <laughs> she doesn't say that out loud, but she, you could just start seeing like the little tears forming in her corners of her eyes, just like I just start rowing uh uh Alexandre and <laughs> That hurts, like just pelting him Dixon. with Alexandra. <laughs> as as that's happening, uh, Barry's two hands, sort of the bones, sort of uh, warp and reform into like big shovels, and he just scoops up in each one in each hand the pile of ash. Sweet. Uh, and point of order, uh, you can use a fourth level spell slot to cast Revivify. It doesn't necessarily have to be a third. Correct. Third or higher. Cool. Cool. I have exactly two higher level spell slots left. <laughs> and the peasants rejoice. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, we don't know which one is which, so flip a coin for right or left, I guess, Swirlina. She knows which pile is which. Oh, okay. Uh, who do you. Do my dad want? first, left, please. Got it. Uh, dad first. All right. So you all gather around this pile of ash, and I believe he left some fingers. Is that correct? Like some hand, because yeah, yeah, and like I, the hands left use... over in the other people's that they were standing next to. Yeah, that's the only reason that you can do this is because there's a, some remains. Um, all right, so you all gather around. The other druids gather around. Uh, you even see the uh, head druid uh, come around. And his daughter, quickly behind him, just kind of following his lead. And they all come around in a circle as Kurtz. Describe what you do. <laughs> the peasants are uh, nice. He gives the yep, chieftain uh, the middle finger um, the entire time he's doing the ritual. Because uh, this is 1,000% his fault and definitely none of ours. And uh, Kurtz thinks he's an asshole. Hey. Uh, uh, it's just, he, he's done it far too many times it's just a standard ritual it, you, if you didn't know Kurtz you would think he's half assing it but he's just it, it's second nature he's done it far Muscle too memory. many times yeah doesn't really have to concentrate alright as Kurtz finishes the ritual the ash begins to move and swirl around until it finally forms a humanoid like structure as the features begin to come in, hands, arms, feet, legs, torso, and finally head, as you see the father of Sporolina looks around, finds Sporolina, and immediately Hooray! embraces. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was really gonna have to kill my cell and her dad. <laughs> Oh, we weren't orange. really going to resort to that, were we? No, no, definitely not. Totally not. Totally you're still, not. You're still crushing my hand. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> it's okay. Saibin looks at you again, and he says, Where's your mother? Um, She'll be back in a jiffy. Give me a minute. All right, expend those uh, spell slots and the Alexandrite proper amount. Remember, it's the higher amount that you're expending, not revivify amount, which I believe is 500 gold pieces. Or 1,000. Okay. I do not have them, so whoever does. Just double check it. I do, and I'll give them. Oh, I, I do it. I do it. <laughs> okay. okay. Spoiler. Okay. Sporolina, describe the ritual. Oh, me? Yeah, you, if you're doing it. I'm not doing it. Kurtz is doing oh, it. I'm giving him the Alexandrite. Okay. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> she's, just, gotcha. she's just chucking the pretty rocks at him to make sure her mom comes back. Uh, it's, it, it, it's exactly the same. Uh, except this time he's locking eyes with uh, the chieftain. And similarly, you pick and choose parts of her attitude to bring back, or is it like all or nothing? <laughs> and similarly, Porcini uh, comes out. Is it Porcini? Porcini. 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 Uh, 
So she immediately comes back similarly to your father, Saiban, and uh, also embraces you and your little brother as well, as you all kind of take a moment and just recollect yourselves as you see other druids um, go over to their family members and their ash piles and resurrect their ashes as well. Uh, let's see. But yeah, they all look around you and just kind of waiting for something to happen. Uh, Barry is already like just walking around and, and putting dirt back into the holes and like tamping it down, just making himself useful. Boom, boom. Like a little five year old in the play box. Pretty much, yeah. You can see other <laughs> druids also like mending the ground and allowing little tiny mushrooms just to sprout up uh, just enough. It's like a soft little lichen, um, uh, soft little lichen patch that. Uh, you can see little kids now. They heard the commotion, and they're starting to come into the temple, kind of, like, wondering what's going on. They, they start, like, rolling around onto the lichen uh, patch, and it's just just very little happy, sensitive moment. Um, well, guys, that was surprisingly way better than I thought it would. Um, I, I kind of figured we'd all die, but here we are, doing great. Um... So, uh, I guess now we will have to vote on our new leader. Well, that and sounds would... awesome, dude, as Darius comes out from the background. Uh, how about, guys, hear me out. I have one of the greatest batches of kombucha. How about we sit around and just pass it around. Maybe take a drink and then pass. Don't be a hoarder. Come on, everyone. Here you go. And he starts taking out of his pack a few bottles and sacks of kombucha. How did those not break? <laughs> oh, I I make sure that I pack everything. Cook, cook, chew. Okay. And he starts I am the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying spoiler. Great. Um, yes. Thank you. Um, but I was thinking uh, that I would personally like to put my father up for a nomination. He has been a part of this tribe since the beginning. Uh, he is thoughtful. He is caring. He is forward thinking. Obviously, where do you think I got it from? Um, and I know that he will be the strong a strong and positive leadership that this tribe needs and to finally get us back to our nomadic lifestyle we have bore or vores to save uh make a persuasion check as you say this to the group oh, of God. all the druids they they have your attention uh and you i'm have gonna give attention. you just a little i'm just gonna give you a little bit of bardic inspiration let me I'll let take me that just, yeah let me just see if i even have some to give because that oh, of course so, just a little mute, just like a on. little flute underneath her speech. She... Yeah, just a little. Oh, yep, you are getting bardic inspiration. Fuck that shit. What is yours? A D8 or a D10? No. It's a D10. Five. Uh, I, did you roll a persuade? Okay, there it is. There it is. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Ding! You see Mycelle about to speak up, and Morel just immediately grabs her back and just kind of slinks back into the shadows of the temple, just kind of not wanting to draw attention to himself or his daughter. And you see a bunch of druids start to, like, nod their heads and uh, um, look at Sybin and just say, Sybin, what do you say? As Sybin looks at you and just says, well, I was hoping that you would take over Sporolina. You've proven how valuable you are and how great of a leader you are. Um, I appreciate that, Dad, but um, and don't get me wrong, I, I love being home, but I have a different path ahead of me, and it is clearly with um, these lovely not at all weird or smelly people. I'm sorry, I haven't showered in a few days. We it's were just buried in dirt. Okay. 
Um, it means you're still better. There you go, yeah. <laughs> and I love them deeply. And we've we've been through a lot together in the past uh, couple months or however long. I don't know. Time is kind of machined together, and uh, we're definitely on a uh, on our hero's journey. And we have an Underdark to save. So they need me. Especially Kurtz, because he dies, like, a lot. It's all part of the job. He's the most dying cleric I've ever seen. As people look to Sivan and uh, you all, and Sivan just says, All right, I can hold up the mantle. Uh, is that okay with you, Portini? Uh, yeah, as long as I keep my apothecary. Of course. As you see... It will be the only apothecary! First decree! <laughs> as Darius uh, just starts handing out small little satchels of kombucha, and people start drinking and having a good time at the temple, and you see some people start dancing, you see the kids start playing, um, and they're just dancing over the lichen patch as you guys celebrate the epic conclusion of whatever just occurred and we'll figure out where that uh, seedling goes maybe later on in your lifetimes and may we never have to deal with that kind of bullshit anytime in the near future well probably not for you guys because you know you're like humans and you'll definitely die way before I do but okay, I said and Alara is already dead so. I said uh, near future can I uh, can I make my way over to um, Sproly and his father? Of course. I'm just gonna tap him on the shoulder, and he turns around and would say, "Um, not far be it from me to tell you how to run your uh, newly earned tribe here, but uh, if you want my opinion, I think that you should keep my cell on as." head of security she didn't seem to be doing half too bad of a job and I think uh, we can both agree that the sins of the father should not be transferred to their children I think I agree with you good looking out have you also let's arm some people and start raging war again <laughs> well the return of the phone first I was gonna say you <laughs> You are just full of violent little surprises, aren't you, Squirrel? I'm sorry, I don't know about you guys, but that shit got me pumped. She's like <laughs> chugging bottles of kombucha. <laughs> you see more people pulling out more kombucha from their homes, like they're running back out and coming back in. Um, as your father looks at you and just says uh, to um, Elora, it's actually a good idea. And as for Morel, he can be an ambassador of some sorts. We aren't the only druid circle in the Fungi Forest, and not all of us see eye to eye, but he might be of some use to us. And while this is going on and people are enjoying themselves, you see Keptrina uh, walk over to Kalor, and she just like nonchalantly, she's like looking up in the air, pretending to like not be uh seen but is being very obvious about it and she kind of goes over to Kalor and just says so how long have you been uh, trans uh, making the transition um the what now <laughs> the wh where the um uh, I am not sure what you're talking about <laughs> Well, you, you have lots of different species of fungus in your armpits and uh, in between your thighs and uh, under your neck, and I think I see some in your hair. It looks like you're making the transformation. Is it? Is this transformation going to involve all the light going away finally? Oh, no, it's just another part of life, I guess. What? That doesn't sound that interesting, then. I'm... Oh, oh, are you just talking about my old my old birth rot? You know, I I I I've had a lot of birth rot. Oh, oh, you're rotting, you're yeah. decomposing. Um, 
you know, I just... Some people start aging at different times in different ways. <laughs> you are not Spend selling this well at all. I don't... Um, <laughs> I'm a doctor, and I've never heard of this before. I, this is this is uncomfortable to hear. Katrina, he is single, though. <laughs> well, if you want to go out sometime, I wouldn't mind it. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do that. I could use something that's not just this for a moment. <laughs> Sounds nice. I, as I gesture towards, like, all the, the you know, damage and stuff. <laughs> Gestures towards the, the <laughs> us. <laughs> Our, like, entire life. That's all you <laughs> just <yeah. laughs> You just gestured towards all of me. <laughs> I feel like that um, was a personal attack in some way. Oh, oh no, it was. I'm sure it was. Well, uh, if you want, the uh, fungal gardens are really nice this time of year. Oh, I. That sounds nice. I bet they're um, dark. I like the dark. Um, actually, I'm, you know, I'm gonna shut up and stop talking about the dark now. <laughs> she grabs you by the hand <laughs> and walks you out. <laughs> oh my! It's a little slimy, you know, like that fungus feel. It's a little slimy, but. Feels like Sporolina. A little smushy. <laughs> yeah, a little smushy. Like a damp spun. <laughs> and so, anything else you guys would like to do? Uh, Kurtz would like to go piss the dirt out. <laughs> oh. As, as you do, you see one of the kids. Mommy, he's growing a mushroom in between his legs. Um, um, Kurtz. <laughs> I would like to emphasize... He would walk away from the children. Yeah, he's not a <laughs> monster. Like pretty much anybody. If you've ever been around children, you know there is no walking away. They will come to you. <laughs> he will piss and run. He does not care. <laughs> it's, uh, a new, will, it's a newly developed skill. I will also uh, bring Laura and Cinna down to the natural hot springs. Um, and yes, I will please. hand them a bottle of the finest kombucha, and then I will skedaddle. Noise. We're going to dirty up those springs. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'm going to go help my dad with the uh, plans for the future and how to get our people battle ready. At the, uh, the hot springs, uh, it fades out by... Uh, uh, them starting to derobe and then Barry looks at the camera and then pulls an, a fourth wall curtain across the screen. <laughs> Barry is it. Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Did you guys know uh, Ryan Reynolds was playing with us? Uh, Kalor, how do you guys fade to black in the, the theatrical sense? Oh, yeah. It's a nice, soft. It's damn gonna be some weird right sex. Here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh, a species we've been growing in this forest for quite some time. It doesn't illuminate though. It's called oh. Fukmi Hard. Perfect. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So why, why don't we uh, go uh, lay down on it? Yes, yes, yes. We, 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 I, I, I will make this very not awkward somehow with. Uh, Kalor, yes, yes. I, 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 I know how to talk to the women. Mm hmm Definitely. Uh, yeah, yes, you know, so... Like, you know. I know intrinsically that Dan is better at talking to women IRL because we know the man gets laid. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it ain't translating to poor Kalor, that's for sure. Oh, no, it, it does not translate to Kalor. Uh... <laughs> uh. No, also, I'm, I'm trying to play up a little bit of the Kaylor awkwardness, but then I, I always somehow find a way to make it more awkward than I initially intended it to be. And as you lay on this fungus, like the, the sides of the fungus kind of like, uh, or the middle of the fungus kind of caves in a little bit as the sides grow taller. It's like one of those squishy beds, but uh, it can't go out. It has to go up. So it like kind of closes you both in 
as it like slowly turns darker and darker and darker. And that's and how then the music like starts. <laughs> fade over to Kurtz running with his dick out away from Joel. <laughs> <laughs> and Sporolina, uh Sybin looks at you and just says, So what did you have in mind? Couple of those well, fungal well, hooks. I would say that we start training people to fight again. We've gotten lax and comfortable, which I'm happy about, but also it has put us in quite a vulnerable position. And uh, so, yeah, I say we start training again. Um, I'm also going to teach some people that I know could handle it, including myself, um, some of the spider shapes that I learned from the other fungal lady. The drow lady. Okay. Um, and yeah, so I'm just putting together kind of like uh, a workout plan, kind of like a I'll make a man out of you scenario. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it'll, take, it'll probably take a few days for you to like get the training good and going and train. Uh, for instance, the first one to take up the mantle is, in fact, myself. Uh, she is the most equipped warrior, uh, along with uh, um, Captrina and Stipule, and they take to it pretty quickly, and if you're comfortable with it, they are going to take over the trainings. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm letting... I think my cell got um, what on the streets we like to call humbled as fuck, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> assume, <laughs> I'm assuming that uh, she's not a fucking right bitch anymore and that she's willing to learn and accept what's going on. Nah, and the fact that my dad wasn't like, uh, you aren't allowed to keep your job. You and your dad need to fucking skedaddle. Good luck. You know? Mm -hmm. So I'm sure she's eager to and be amenable. Please. So yeah, that's it. And I spend those couple days really just like soaking in the love for my parents and even even my little brother. Don't tell him though. Um, even though and shit. just really like kind of trying to take mental pictures of what my village looks like and getting ready for us to head back in our journey to uh, save the Underdark. <laughs> So, okay. uh, can I take this moment here, uh, and uh, Jesse, I know this might be asking too much of you in your current time, but it, over those couple of days, what Alora would do would be to draw up a facsimile of um, what the Drow City uh, is, how it's laid out by all the information that we've gotten, both from the Dwarvish spies and from the, uh, the refugee Drow. And just so that we can sort of plan our our hit spots and what we're going to do so we can, like, sit down and, and like, okay, well, the the, the main attack is going to come from the armies here. We're slipping in over here. We're going to set off distractions here and here, that kind of thing. And who are you coordinating this with? This would just be with, like, pr well, pr probably primarily Kurtz since he's got the, he's got the eye for war. And uh, everybody could be involved except for Sporlina since she's doing off doing her own thing. Um, and then eventually we would have to find a way to get this to the to the heads of the army. Okay. All right. So I have a note in my... Yeah, I wrote it down. All right. Then we are good with that. All right. Uh, so you guys begin to... Excuse me. Ooh, beer. Ooh, that's good. Tastes good a second time. Uh, you guys begin to head out, and as you do, Sybin pulls you guys aside, and just uh, right before you guys leave, he says, Listen, Fungi Forest is not what you remember it to be. I don't know how long you've been here, but the other druids are not as open as we were. And you know how open we were. And yes, we do dislike the drow. They've been attacking the fungi forest for some time, but the forest is relentless. It is resistant. And all things come back to nature eventually. So just remember that. I know, Dad. We'll be okay. And uh, hopefully you guys will be too. 
I love you. Love, love you too. too, you big softy. <laughs> Gives you a big hug. All right, and you guys begin to exit this the druid area. I assume we got a long rest. God, so that's you when... most certainly did, <laughs> and you were fed lots of fungi, especially Kalor. Wow. Wow. Was uh, would there have been any uh, potions or poisons we could have procured from either Sporlina's mother or other villagers while we were there? Ooh, roll a d100 for me. We'll say above a 40. That's a yes. 78. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna make up four different potions. Let me, I have them actually right here. So let me get it. I'm not making these up. All right, so the first one is just a plain old uh, greater healing potion. So go ahead and write that down. The next one is Ooh. is the glistening saucer. Glistening saucer. 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 I'm going to send that to you guys in a moment. Ooh, I already have it. Dope. Let's see if I have it. And so let's see. It's not necessarily a potion. It is she gives you the raw material itself. There you go with that. Cool. Change the name. It says mysterious note. Sorry about that. Mysterious. That's a pretty fungal infested mysterious note. Hold on one moment. Leaf says calling me my realtor. Ah, uh, house buying. Do, 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 do. And house selling. Housing, housing, housing. Yeah, because I know that in, like, addition to all the distractions and shit we have to set up in town, uh, once shit starts going down, Allura definitely wants to fucking destroy House Uvain and find anything remaining of her, of her own namesake. Well, that can happen after, you know, the ransacking and burning of the city. You know, the normal stuff that happens. I don't know. There could be something in there that would help us in the final battle. Mm, true. Or it help me, which would help us. Moonchild. Contains similar bacteria present in kombucha, but consuming the drink from a vessel made of Glaucian Diporphus provides different benefits. And eating a raw serving of glistening saucer begins the healing process against existing infection, poison, or disease, granting a character a saving throw to resist any ongoing condition. If a bowl or otherwise vessel is carefully crafted from this fungi, it loses all its inherent potency and instead reacts to any kombucha placed within it. Healing potions consumed from such a vessel grant the imbiber a saving throw with advantage to resist any ongoing conditions. A side effect of consuming kombucha from such a vessel is the rapid and rampant growth of tiny fungi saucers over the imbiber's skin. That's cool. And lastly... If I drink that from that, would they be... a uh... Uh, we have this. Well, we have, I think, one left of these. And did we get two of one of those? Because you said there were four. Uh, you got two greater healing. All right, cool. Thank you. Um, I think one should go to uh, Kurtz and one to Sin. Oh, thank you. Kayla, don't forget to heal yourself. All right. Well, uh, we need to navigate our way towards the 
back entrance to the city of death. Can do. Uh, Sporlina just like slaps her face on the ground. It's just dragging it across the dirt um, and is like flapping her arms like she's a, uh, is that breast stroke when both your arms go up or a butterfly stroke or something? Butterfly. Um, butterfly. And that's what she's doing through the dirt smelling our way that we need to go. It's turned into a Scooby-Doo adventure. <laughs> Bro, All this right. has always been a Scooby-Doo adventure. Don't act like I just invented something. <laughs> Go ahead and roll initiative. We're going to do a skill challenge to see how far you get. And there it is, everybody. Welcome back to our D&D game. Goes <laughs> Hurts with that advantage. I can't believe you gave me that shield. I don't even remember giving it to you. Kaylor, it was when you? we started. Yeah, it was in uh, Rybalka. It was one of the things that they're like, hey, we have these really powerful magic items you can trade for. Ah. No, it it is neither. It is actually... It is an uncommon... So I think we all started with an uncommon item. That's the one I tried. Oh, you oh. started with that one? Yeah. Oh, nice. I thought it was one of the ones we got at the... Synapical initiative. Still don't know how you didn't veto that one. I should have, but eh, whatever. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can't Curtsy take it boy. away now. Oh, um, I, can, I am the DM. Uh, Curtsy, it is your turn. What do you do as you make your way through these uh, highly infested, not infested, the wrong, that's the wrong word, highly overgrown forest of fungi? Just, you can't even see more than five feet in front of you as you are making your way through this area. It's just very, very dense. What do you do? Pray. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a stretch. Um, since it is very... It's clustered. Uh, I would argue that since Kurtz has a lot of experience in moving around very tight quarters in a battlefield, he would be able to use his intuition or insight to find a way through. Mm. If not, I'll just use perception. I I agree with the insight, I think. I agree. Because you are used to this in a dense battlefield. The DC is 18. Okay. Go Next. Perception. Sporlina. Um, as I see Kurtz trying to navigate, I just like roll my eyes and think about how he like was stomping all over my beloved mushroom friends. Uh, so I just kind of get in front and I go, hi, excuse me, do you guys mind moving a little bit? Can we create a path? <laughs> For like a nature check? With advantage, because she can speak would, to the mushroom. You know, I would kind of allow the animal handling, actually. I think animal handling, I know it's a fungi, but, like, you're, like, talking with them, like, excuse me. I don't care. They're both the same to me, so. Sure. Whatever. Animal handling. I like that one. It's more fun. That's 10. A 30. <gasps> Double success. I parched the forest like Moses. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing as just Get mushroom out of the way. getting out of the way of Sporolina. Just a wide berth. And yeah, and Kurtz is like, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> uh, all right. Shame in front of everyone. I didn't want the repeat of the last time you were coming to the forest. Cinema. I'm just going to try to remain as quiet as possible because... I think I've had enough mushrooms for a little while, so. Okay, he has you skulk in the background. All right, Kalor. Oh, God. I don't know what I would help with anymore. Um, okay, okay. Um. I was gonna just do the sneaking, but I don't know what to do now. Um, you can still do it. I swear, Sporlina is like the only person who's made for skill challenges. 
Yeah. We're in the fungal forest. <laughs> Dude. What? This would be dim and dark in the fungal forest, right? So he would technically have advantage and then disadvantage, so it wouldn't still be the 20. There's a lot of bioluminescence. Yeah, see, I have to have a dark vision of 120 feet. Yeah, that's when you're not in the fungi forest. Uh, all right, Kaylora, that was 15. And right. lastly, Laura. Uh, just good old go-to, uh, riding on Barry's back with uh, my head under one of my arms and uh, just looking intimidating as fuck to anything sentient or uh, hungry that might be looking us down through the forest. You guys down because honestly if you eat me you die <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys make your way through this particular area of the fungi forest uh you get to a point where the the shapes of the fungi start to change and they become more rounded a very bulbous uh and then in fact sporolina and kurtz nope not kurtz it would be Sporolina and Cinna. You, you guys are the first to notice that these kinds of fungus actually have protrusions out of them. Uh, not necessarily pointy, but just weird growths coming out of them. Like uh, feelers? No, 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 no. Uh, you kind of like, to investigate. Uh, yeah, I, I'll go and investigate. Absolutely. Nature? As, yep, as Cinna Moira uh, <laughs> stops her skulking, goes up to a big bulbous uh, oh. uh, mushroom and you do a nature check as you touch it and you notice along with Sporolina as you kind of crouch down you notice that this is not a big mushroom as you were led to believe. These are a lot of tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny mushrooms and the protrusion is the bone. That's a bone. Is it people bone? Uh, medicine check. Uh -huh. Yeah. No. It is most certainly a humanoid of some sort, a, like a rib, if you can tell. But you're not sure if, it, if it's human, elf, drow, etc. And there's like a whole field of these things? As you look around, uh, yes, the, the bulbous big, uh, again, they're probably five feet in diameter or more, uh, and they're just very fat and yes they have these little protrusions and as you go and look at all the protrusions there's a finger bone there's a rib there's you know part of a skull etc etc uh barry's gonna move 15 feet in front of everybody like prancing through the fields <laughs> and just like do, do a slow motion kicking spores up into the air and think about this <laughs> yeah, bad choice, Jesse. <laughs> no it's not me it's the fucking book it's literally saying what it is <laughs> all right the uh, hills are alive with the sounds of berry cracking oh berry <laughs> so a lot okay according to the book this is very heavily decomposed uh we're gonna roll a d6 and that's how many bodies you get you get two two full bodies Oh, well, I wasn't collecting for tear up. I was just absorbing for health. Oh, okay. Then yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Is it still just two bodies worth? Uh, yes. Okay. Right, it's 2d6 then. Not much, but every little bit can. And as Barry does this, you guys see... Um, uh, the mushrooms just kind of as little a skull, a foot, a toe, etc. Just like bing, 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 bing. Come on to Barry. If there's a spare skull, can I have one? Uh, Barry, make an, he's, he's make an investigation Barry. check. He's talking to Barry. I feel like Barry would try to fucking bite it off of you, <laughs> like a dog, you know? <laughs> oh my nice. god. Wow. 
That's what I fucking use it on? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's beautiful. Finding a skull. You find the perfect skull. Uh, it Dare is I not say human. it's coated in gold. Yeah, I was just going to investigate it to see what species it was. I don't need a Medicine skull. Medicine check. Oh my god. This is, this is bogus, man. Okay, with that, uh, you find that this is, in fact, a... Would you even know what this is? Um, He's been around. Yeah, hold on. Let me get... To so it. says his doctor. Technically a doctor. <laughs> Why can I not find the human age? There Kurtz doesn't go to the doctor. He goes to other clerics. How many times, Kurtz, am I going to lesser restorate your ghibli bit? Uh, you find Too many. a cool skull and a cool skull. Oh, nice. So it is a humanoid, but... So, actually, those are pretty cool skull. I guess he does not like need it. Yeah, cool skull. Cool. Adding that to my backpack. Cool-looking skull. Cool a hool. All right, and as Barry and you all look at this, it's quite a large area. Um, you continue on for what seems like a few more hours, and as you do, the bulbous nature of these kinds of mushrooms get bigger and bigger, and again, more protrusions, and now something a little bit more fresh. Red blood all over one of the mushrooms. And the protrusions don't have the little tiny mushrooms on them yet. You can see sticking out are bones and guts and other things. Uh, and it looks like slowly the little tiny mushrooms are taking over, but this one is much, much fresher. Is there, uh, Kurtz, do you see any indication hey. of what might have killed this thing? Is Obviously, we haven't been attacked by these mushrooms, so I don't think it's them killing. They're just taking advantage of the situation. Can I do an H check on? Oh, I guess I kind of already did an H check on mushrooms. Never mind. Hey. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Not this when we insane. truly need it. Hey, role play is needed. This is important. I know. So it's just medicine check on what? Uh, determining cause of death. Uh, Laura actually got to it before I was. I was gonna say I want to see what killed this guy. Thing. Honestly, Perfect. with that natural twenty. Uh, it was very difficult to uh, figure out because you don't see any like major markings uh, on the body and bones. It's very difficult. You kind of get a, have to get a full skeleton to really identify it. And uh, as you notice, you put the skeleton together and you notice that around the rib cage area, uh, many ribs and spine and uh, surf uh, yeah. What am I thinking of? The spine and the ribs and the pelvis, etc., are very much cracked. And you know that this is probably from an explosion from the inside of the body. Uh, whereas the external parts, like the arms and legs and such, they're not cracked. So uh, you could tell that, yes, it was a internal explosion. Uh, Kurt will put a mask on and check himself. <sighs> The, 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 the three non-breathers will assist him in helping check the other people. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Get the fuck out. This is my time to shine. With that natural 20, you are quite certain that you are not infected with anything. Sweet. Jesus. Three uh, or four. We can't, we can't hear you, babe. I don't know if you forgot to turn off push to talk. She was making fun of Kurtz, but nobody could hear her. <laughs> I did forget to push off. Push it off. God damn it. Uh, I was just, I was just, uh, going, Was it matter, Kurtz? Are the little mushrooms scaring you? <laughs> Stop. I keep an eye out for anything that might be trying to get into your inside your body there. Mm -hmm. 
Part of the mask is probably a good idea for Nate. He purposely drank kombucha so he could turn mushroomy. Yeah, okay. Turning mushroomy is not exploding from the inside out. I mean, that's how mushrooms populate, so. Yeah, but do you live Enjoy. after? Uh, <laughs> barely. You know, the French call it the little death, but it can be a big one. I mean, big uh, all right, well, we don't do peep humans and Kaylor don't do that. So <laughs> we would like to keep our insides outside. No, insides, insides and outsides, mm -hmm. outsides. Wait, I'm confused. Are we keeping our insides in our insides? Uh, that's the plan. Okay. Hey, Laura recalls the night before. Yeah, he puts he pulls his hands out of his pants. All right, fine. <laughs> okay, do you guys continue on? Well, yeah, I guess there's nothing else we can do here. Um... I say we go home. It's all done here. We're all good. There's no, like, dropped goods or anything around where this person was slain. Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, if I were to take just, like, a, a educated guess, I would assume that this is more than likely, uh, like a graveyard of some kind? Or, like, a body disposal? Probably for an evil Probably mushroom plan. So. Well, assuming someone exploded from the inside, probably not a graveyard, but a hey, jumping ground. Be right back, guys. Gotta fix the printer. Yeah. Okie dokie. Good luck. Printers are evil. Uh, I gotta say, uh, my first thought when he said it, the guy ex person thing exploded from the inside, I immediately went to aliens. Yeah, the face fair. It's like, the face huggers now? Oh, somebody's made it, believe me. Somebody's got a rule set out there for everything from face huggers to Queen Mother. That'd be a pretty cool fight. No thanks. No thanks. I choose life. Oh, I would think magic would do a better job than space guns. Oh, agreed, but I'm still gonna say no thanks. Bam, <laughs> The matter with your head. Hey, hey. Da, da, da. Printers of Death. Uh, yeah, there we go. With that investigation check, um. You can tell that this individual did not die here. There was like, his head is over there, his hand is over in that area, uh, etc. It, it, it doesn't. It looks like it was moved here uh, mm. after the. I'm explosion. feeling very right. All Maybe right. Not perfectly right, but on the right track. Let's keep an eye out for anything, and uh, let's move forward. Right, as you guys move forward, uh, let's see. I'm gonna move you to the next stage. You guys hear what sounds like uh, a loud boom, like something falling and making a big rumbling noise uh, from afar. Probably 200 feet. Are we really gonna beat those people in the horror movie that go towards the sound? Yep, I think we are. Depends on if it's in the direction and that we're headed. Uh, it's like southward. You guys are heading more westward. Uh, eastward, eastward.
I don't know, Laura. You're the leader. All right. Um, you said about 200 feet to the south? Yeah, but again, it's thick, thick stuff, so it's hard to see right. uh, anything. Um, Kaylor, you want to bat over and do a little recon for us? Let's do that. Let's not go rushing headlong to death again. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I go off as a bat, doing the I'm a bat thing. Doing your bat thing. Uh, All right. So you fly off. It's kind of a typical thing to see a bat in the fungal forest. So I'm not even going to say roll a stealth check. Uh, you see off in the distance uh, a group of drow and a fung giant. Uh, sure. They seem to be taking it down. The fung giant looks to be uh, pretty messed up. In fact, it's on the brink of death. Uh, there are a few drow dead bodies. It looks like the fung giant did not go down without a fight, but it is down on its knees and hands, and they have ropes and things tying it down and pulling it down, and uh, it looks like they are slashing it up to pieces. God. Like, how... how... How far away do, do I feel like they are from killing it? Uh, about 12 seconds, maybe more. Oh, God. Well. 18 seconds. Three rounds of combat, say? Maybe. <laughs> um, da -na, na 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 I'm just a normal bat. Oh, hey, look, there's, there's this nice rock. And it's got some water next to it. I'm just going to do normal bat things and go over there and check that out. Okay. Um, wait. Where's my... Where is Kalor and all these You are right stuff? here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I'm a bat. I'm a bat. I'm a bat. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. So, wait. This is the direction that my friends came from. Actually. Oh, wait. No, they're... No, they're closer they're than I thought. Okay. Um... I'm a bat, I'm a bat, I'm a bat. Um, and uh, suddenly I'm going to not be a bat. <laughs> Aha, right. it was me. The, Surprise, the... motherfucker. <laughs> it was me, the bay of your race all along. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, you come out to the clearing. You transform into Kalor himself. As you do, you do a whoosh of your cape. And then what do you do? Okay. How and... about that aesthetic, baby? We 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 gotta we gotta get some geometry going here. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, let me remind myself of. I just have this vision. You know how like uh, I feel like bunglets and humans would have sex the same way cone heads and humans do, like <laughs> like in just like a weird way. But it just it definitely wouldn't be what humans would think of as sex. Things we talk about in D&D. &D. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. And... Uh, okay, you know, he, he might get a little singed. And then I can... Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna try to minimize his exposure to the fire, and then we're going, and I'm gonna safe cast that to give him the, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh wait, actually, I'm just going to, yeah, he's, he's close, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go all out, because I, I, I don't think, I think it's better just to play it safe. Okay, so I'm gonna, or not safe, but go for broke okay we're gonna center it right here we're gonna spend the point to make him auto succeed on the saving throw with careful spell and hope that's enough that i don't accidentally murder my my friend that i'm trying to save all right so you guys uh hear a a loud bang and a <laughs> flash and you immediately think uh-oh <laughs> that's kalor and you can ru run into action at this point. So let us roll initiative. You guys have already done most of it if you haven't. Uh, so I don't see Cinna. So Cinna, please 
I only see me and Kurt. I see Sporolina. Unless she, it here. just rolled in. Alora, did you roll a 13? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Laura Senna, Kurt's good. All right, we're good. We're good. Good. I don't oh. see uh, Kaylor in there. Why is Kaylor it not? I, I'm trying to get it to select me to put myself in, but it's not seeming to want to cooperate. Um. Apparently, I, I, there's not. I can. We have the same initials. So I... Yeah. Oh, it just got you into 19. Does that work? I mean, that's better than what I actually rolled. So. <laughs> Uh, oh, you rolled a yeah. 12. Okay, I'll yeah, just yeah. click this 12. There we go. Let me get these. Right. So, did I, did I accidentally murder the guy I was trying to save or not? Uh, what was your damage? 32, but he auto succeeds on the dex save. And he is uh, n vulnerable to flame. Oh, I forgot so... about that. So he takes 32. He leaves, so he... Yeah, he takes. Well, actually, if you succeed, you take no damage. Half oh, damage. no, you take half damage. Unfortunately, the big boom did indeed. Ooh. Aaron came in with a vengeance. She just. Like, I'm right by the window, and her car just, like, flew right past it. She is not messing around right now. Uh, all right. So, you do big boom. Uh, these guys need to save. Drow. Save, save. And then Drow Elite Warrior. Uh, ooh, he's got a save. Sweet. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's see. How much did you do? 30-something? 30 32. Dead. And what's your save? It is a 17. Yes, it's a 17. All right, so 32 to this guy. Uh, this guy right here. And this guy takes less, so that's 16. This guy takes 32. And this guy takes 32. All right, I think I got everyone right. And the fun giant is Dunzo, but is on fire now. Uh, so we will definitely have some beauty as the fire explodes and is now caught on the fun giant. Uh, all right, we will start. That definitely caused initiative. They, uh, you caught their attention as they look to you, Kalor, uh, the Drow Elite Warrior is going to immediately rush you. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can't get any closer unless he does something. Uh, he is going to... He doesn't know you, so he's going to cast Darkness. Centered right on Kalor. Um... Actually, I think that would still technically work on me, because I can see through my magical darkness, but not other people's magical darkness. Oh, okay, double check that and make sure. And then well, this it, guy... Yeah, it, it, it is for that, and then it's like specifically whenever I spend the points to cast it to. But I can see through normal darkness, but not, not advanced magical darkness. You feel uh, someone like come around, and he's like right on you uh, as he rushes into the darkness, uh, but he dashed, so he can't do much else. Um, that is pretty much all that they're going to do. Kurt, you hear the big boom. You see the big flash. You look forward, and a clearing comes, and you see this big ball of blackness. Uh, you know your brother loves blackness. <laughs> um, yeah. Right, okay, there we go. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, the measurement, that's a, that's not right. Wait a minute. Uh, thank you. Wrong button. Oh, yes. 
Oh my. Oh yes. Uh, so I'm gonna be casting Flame Strike right here. And what does that do? Uh, it's a ten foot radius, and I cast it at sixth level. Okay. And what do they have to do? Dex save. Wow. Dex that was save. not great. Nope. One, two. Oh, why did I roll initiative? I'm sorry. Ignore those. One, two. <laughs> yep. Those two drow uh, fail. Uh, fire and radiant. The the these two basic drow gonzos. Uh, whereas these guys. One, two, three. Wow. Yay. So that is 11 and 18, which is a 29. And then the last guy takes half, I assume? Yes. 29 plus 29. Okay. Anything else? As you see, the flame strike just explode around these individuals. Uh, they... Uh, take this damage as the radiant damage comes over them. The two min a minuscule drow come, like just immediately explode, but these individuals, they have studded leather armor with shields, and they use most of the shield to kind of block the radiant energy and the fire as well. Uh, and you can tell these guys are much more trained. Way more trained. These are not your average for foot soldiers. Interesting. Uh, that was my turn. All right, Sporlina. Can she save the fungal giant? The fungal giant is on fire. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... Can I... How much of that can I do? Hold on, sorry. Oh, yes. Um, okay, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna point at the river over here. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna watch Sporlina pull a large ribbon of water out and throw it basically on top of the fungal giant. Using control water? Correct. What's the range on that? Uh, 300 feet. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I it was like 30 feet. <laughs> no. Sweet. 300 feet. So you water bend. As you do your water bending, you flow like the flow of water as a ribbon of water just whoosh, whoosh, sprays all over the, the fire fun giant. Um, and that is all I can do. All right. Uh, Just want him out. <laughs> Elora. Okay, so I am currently mounted. Uh, Barry is going to move and uh, attack. Uh, sorry, action move as well. And uh, as we get up to this guy, I'm going to use my... Somehow that got closed. Where the fuck is... Uh... Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to use my ability, uh, Rearing Menace, using three exertion points. Uh, rear my mount, take my attack action, and then a number of creatures equal to my proficiency bonus within 20 feet makes a wisdom save. On a fail, they're frightened of me until the end of the next turn. So just the one dude. All right, so wisdom save. Twenty-two. Hot damn! Twenty-seven and thirty. It's definitely gonna hit. Eighteen points of damage plus. Or radiant is that so, necrotic instead? The third, yeah, the third one shouldn't be on there. Um, gotcha. If the first one didn't kill him, the second one I'll pump a point of tattoo. Okay, twenty-two plus seventeen plus twelve. Uh, 
as you come down, you slice through his armor, getting some good gashes in him. But these guys, they are quick. And uh, actually, Harry. The drow adds three to its AC against one melee, and that is going to be neither of them because they still are both going to hit, so it doesn't yeah. matter. I was like, uh, uh... But he's, he's still going to try. <laughs> um, and as you see him try to parry, you just cut through his parry without an issue. Uh, and, yeah, you do some decent damage, but he's not down. All right, I'm going to um, bone for my bonus action, cast Blood Arm. I thought you said okay. bone for your bonus action. And I was like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jesse's a little far away for that. Uh, so currently my uh, AC bumps up to 22. Vision. All right. Uh, Kalor, that was a surprise round, so you get your round again. You feel someone behind you in the darkness. What are you doing? Oh, man. I've been thinking about this. Got it down to a couple ideas. All right. Checking one thing real fast. Coming around to a big drought turn. Yeah, seriously, they all rolled like shit during initiative. Hey, there was an issue. Wait a minute. Jesse, sorry to ask you, but uh, can you... Or someone. I'm going to put uh, this wording into the chat. I don't know exactly what it means, but if it means what I think it means, d and Beyond fucked up. You cast it with a 5th level spell, right? I cast it with a 6th level. Oh, then it should be 1d6. So add a d roll another d6. Well, 1 for each fire and rain. No, it's just yep. or. Your choice. Oh, you know what? One, Fuck it. One shouldn't point. Have, shouldn't have said anything. It would have been fine. I will God. add that one point. Don't you worry. Make a break moment. <laughs> all right uh kaylor it's your turn all right so we're gonna be like okay there's something oh god okay he's trying to more to me um we are going to he's trying to more to more to me more to me he's gonna try to more to me so we're gonna disengage and then i'm like okay it's darkness someone's trying to stab me i have an idea uh i am going to use wait how well, I'm assuming it was relatively dim out before the magical darkness hit, or...? There's a lot of illumination from the fungi, so probably not. Okay, well... I mean, they cast darkness on him! <laughs> so he here's what we're going to do instead, is... I figure in the darkness is centered on me, so we're going to attempt to... Let's see if I can do it this way. Basically... I'm going to try to disengage, and I'm going to try to... Wait. Okay, so I know I, I know about how tall the magical darkness is usually it's 15 feet, so I'm going to fly up 10 feet, and then I am... Or 15 feet, yes, 15 feet, and then just try to immediately go backwards. Um, with my movement, so that'd be 15, 15, so that'd be exactly 30, so I should be in the air and then promptly falling on my butt. Um, actually, let's... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so action to disengage. As you get away, you can feel the grasping of his hand right near you, uh, but he just grabs, like, uh, I don't know, some, uh, hair strings, uh, uh yeah. Ball the hairs. Threads of your hair. <laughs> Ball hairs, too. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Old of you to assume it can grow in. <laughs> anyway, go on, Kaylor. Um, bone, um, let's see. Um, okay. And then I remembered I saw, like, the big, scary magic man. I may not be able to see him, but I can still summon Brimstone to sick him. And so he's going to, let me double check the summoning range for that for my bonus action. Come on. I think it's like 30 or 60 feet. You hit your should be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I believe it's... Am 
on Brimstone. There's too many things on this list. Okay, a hunt. Oh wait, it has to be someone I can I can see if in 120 feet of me. So, um, I guess I can't see them at the moment. <laughs> ah, so okay. Uh, all right. So we'll x nay that. Yep. We'll x nay that. And I'm I'm all out of movement, so I'm just gonna chill, and that'll be my turn. Dina Moira. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, actually, fuck that. No, it's back over here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty. Signing paperwork. Okay. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> Everybody get just roll extra damage. Kurt's roll divine intervention enough times until it works. Yeah, I'm sure. These guys are gonna be beefy. Yeah, you you just had to kill the fucking giant in the first movement to my first fucking move is going to be to use my six level spell to heal him. Put 100 yeah. on the D100. <laughs> I know. I looked at Rihanna and as soon as this started, I was like, you're going to heal that fungal giant, aren't you? She's like, hell yeah. I was. I was going to heal the fungal giant. I don't know. I'm oh. not sure how I... <sighs> I forgot about that fire thing. That was... Bro, you just watched my parents get obliterated by it. How did you forget? It was about a month ago. What do you mean it was <laughs> just happened? We went we went through Narnia, okay? It wasn't really a month. <laughs> Alright, sign paperwork. We are good to go. We have sold the house. Huzzah! Damn, dude. Woo! Huzzah. I'm, I'm gonna cast shower. Alright, Jenna, what you doing? I'm casting shatter. Give me one shatter second. Shatter where? Right, right here. So at All least right. these two get hit. Yeah, just those two. All right, and this con save. Yes. I think God, they're gonna save. Fucking damn it! Okay. Well, so they take an attempt damage. was made. I yes, so I believe nine so. points, and nine points. He still needs to make a concentration check. As he is focusing on the darkness. Ooh, he failed! And as Focus the darkness down. dissipates, you see uh, the dr Drowl Elite Warrior shown now in front of Kalor, uh, but now the rest of you can see the group beyond the darkness and the fun giant that has very much been burnt. Uh, all right, send anything else. Uh no that that'll be it besides giving well well give me one second I need to check something quick okay bardic inspiration to anyone uh yes but I need to be within sixty feet so I guess I will be giving it to Kalor I mean you're pretty much in sixty feet of like almost everyone I was gonna give it to Alora but I don't think I am within sixty feet I'm like ninety percent sure that's oh, oh do you, do you have any never mind speed, though? Like no, she I, moved. I spent all of my movement. So yeah, you, yeah, you're good. You could give it okay. to Alora. Alora, whoop their ass, <laughs> whoop their ass, honey. And that that is it. All right, it is all of their turns now. Um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Uh, this individual is going to slash slash one, two with advantage 22 and 18 22 will hit. Uh, that is 10 piercing damage. Make you, a con save. Are you sorry. Ta targeting me or Barry. Cause I'm uh, mounted you... on Barry's back. I thought you said you stepped down and when you did, nope. you did like a, I'm attacking. I'm attacking from a mounted position. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Then that's going for Barry. So 22 and 18 on Barry. Cool. Is he using a magical weapon? Uh, let's see. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. If it's not magical and there's not adamantine, it uh, is immune. Immune? 
Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks that aren't adamantine. Who made Barry? Uh, Alright, so... <laughs> with that then, uh, that was his action. And this guy is going to point to you, Elora, and is going to levitate you. One creature, at least in choice, within a range, uh, yeah, remains suspended there for the duration. Spell can levitate her. Constitution saving throw is unaffected. So, Constitution saving throw as you are lifted up off of Barry's shoulders. Uh, let's find out. Okay, sorry, I just, uh, I do have one thing real quick. Um, sorry, uh, so what, con save? Yep, con save, please. Nineteen save. Nineteen does save. You are good to go. Uh, reaction. Uh, I'm going to use my purge magic ability to uh, make a reflexive uh, melee attack again. All right. So you can dip down and go for it. Dip, dive, dodge. Dip, duck, dive, dodge, and dodge. Uh, Nineteen will hit. Go ahead and put another point of tattoo. Uh, 20 plus 18 plus 1, 21, 29, 39. Is that enough? It is enough. How do you want to do this for an uh, individual? So uh, he, I see his hand come up and point at me, and just uh, bear, uh, a, a rib cage comes up on Barry's back, grabs a hold of me like a baby Bjorn, and then swings as if it's on a rail, and I just swing with the Vorpal Sword and chop his hand off, and he just falls to the ground bleeding. Beauteous. All right, and now the the house captain uh, is going to make his turn. He is going to slowly step around, go through these guys, look at you in particular, Larry, and is going to, yeah, he's going to step forward. He has a 10-foot reach, and he's going to whip you. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Actually, no. He is going to step forward first. He is going to whip you, and he is going to try to pull you down. Uh, he is going to fail in that, and instead he is going to now make his two scimitar attacks. Ooh, he has advantage! Uh, so that is a 22 to hit you, Elora, and it, the natural 20 to hit you as well. Uh, now he's going to make his bonus uh, action. Can anyone understand Undercommon? I'm sure you all can at this point. Yes. And he is going to shout the order to this individual to slash him from behind, or slash her from behind, and capture. Uh, so this individual, he is going to attack with his short sword. 11 to hit. It's going to fail. So it didn't really matter. Uh, but Alora, you took that damage, yeah? I, I'm working on it. I'm just checking something real quick. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, following his orders, he's going to do a hand crossbow, crossbow bolt with a 9 to hit. Is going to fail. And this individual is going to come around and is going to cast Levitate on Elora once more. Con save, please. Right, with the 20, you are good. This guy is also going to cast Levitate on you. Do another con save, please. Sorry, give me a second. I'm still trying to count up damage. Three, three, one, I have to. All right. All right, another. Fourteen. It was bound to enough. happen at some point. And you have been Levitated. Uh, and you are now blue for levitation. And the individual who is holding you is the guy with the orange right here. And so you are above Barry's shoulders by around 10, 15 feet. And uh, so that puts you around 20 feet above the air. And he is just holding you there for the moment. Uh, this individual right here is going to 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Just look at Kalor and pow pow. 18 to hit Kalor. Constitution save, please, Kalor. You do not take poison damage. You only take the nine piercing damage. Uh, so you are good on that front. Uh, this individual is going to hand crossbow bolt on Elora. Uh, target move by pushing. Blah, 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 blah. So, yep. 21 to hit Elora. I don't think that's going to hit. Um, and then this individual who is right next to Kalor is going to take a step forward. Go for Kalor with a short sword, short sword. That is an 18 and a 18 Kalor. It's 33 damage sure. altogether, unless you're resistant uh, to poison. Yeah. Are you no. resistant to poison? I might be. Let me double check. No, I am not. Okay. So we got... Yep. That's gonna hurt. Just 33. All right, and with that, it is Curtsy Boy's turn. Man, I really wish I had the javelin. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and attack in. This bad boy with Guiding Bolt. Okay. And who were you aiming at? Sorry. This guy. One more time. I was not paying attention. Oh, oh yeah, you down there. Okay, that's where he was. Uh, oh, yes, anyway. that'll absolutely hit. And 20 points of radiant damage plus 20 it's as it hits. Once. Sorry. And con save, 18. He is good. He is still concentrating. And Laura is still up in the air. Mm. I can't. Mm. I have the feet to attack. Ah, oh, it's weapon attack. Never mind. It's poorly enough. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. Dana, have you taken any damage? I have not. Okay. Oh, it's also... Right. Yes. Uh, attacks on this guy have advantage for an next weapon hit. Uh, next oh. weapon hit. Poor Lita, I recommend staying away from that area. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm not. I'm gonna be really mad if you light this mushroom guy on fire again. Wait, he's not dead yet? Uh, oh, he's he, dead. <laughs> that doesn't mean Sporlina is not gonna be fucking furious with you. <laughs> Kayla doesn't uh, know that. <laughs> I, 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 Kayla can accept that. <laughs> um, okay, then I'm not gonna cure wounds on Kaylor. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm gonna cast a uh, mass cure wounds, uh, fifth level for so that should hit uh, Alora and uh, it could hit everybody. So if anybody needs any, they can take it. Um, and also, it will hit my the giant mushroom guy. If Jesse was a benevolent god who abandoned us for two weeks and wants to be nice, considering he killed my parents last time. We'll see. <laughs> oh. Wow. All the shot day. The Shade. I was giving him Shade. <laughs> nice heal. Six, seven, and eight. Yeah, that was a good roll. So yeah, Kaylor twenty six HP. Anybody who needs some some health can take that. Besides the drow, of course. And Barry. Oh, poor Barry. I don't have. I don't think I really have anything that can. No, that's fine. 
Um, and I moved, and that's me turn. Okay, hold on one second. Sorry. Of course, everything that could go wrong, our printer ran out of ink. Aaron had to go to get ink, and she was pissed. Now our printer won't fucking scan, and it's just like, seriously. <laughs> um, okay, so there, there's a really good app for that, actually. Um, it's called Cam Scanner. Um, the free version. Wait, what was it called? What was it called? Cam Scanner. There's there's a bunch of them. Cam. That's the only one. Yeah, it, it's the only one that I've had that's worked. It's on Android and Apple. Um, there's a free version of it. It works really well. It'll export it as a PDF that you can email to yourself. Okay. All right. Anyway. So, with that, Sporolina, you cured some people. Laura, you were up in the air, 20 feet. So, so did Fungal Guy get healed? Uh, he did not. I am not yeah. a benevolent god. Laura, uh, how, how's, how's the weather up there? Cold today, hot tamale! <laughs> um, alright, so first, we're gonna take Barry's turn. Barry is going to look at the mean whip man who just whipped Mama, and he's going to attempt to grapple him. Okay. Uh, what is that, contested? Yeah, either uh, athletics or acrobatic. Strength or dex. Ooh, I like the dex. Uh, he is held. I do not think he has under 40 hit points, right? No, definitely not. Oh, that's... I don't know what the fuck... That's not right. What the fuck? Alright, I'm just gonna click the button. The fuck? The fuck? He takes 98 as Barry tries to rip him apart. Uh, he feels his bones start popping inside. Uh, two more arms sprout from his back, and he is going to uh, slam, slam on the guy behind him. No, what? He's going full on on the captain. He, he's grappled, so he has advantage on these hits because he's grappled. All right. With that, All I'm saying is that letting me heal the big mushroom giant sounds a lot better than what Barry just did. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm not asking for superhuman bone golems. I just want my mushroom friends to live. Is that really too difficult to ask? So it's a, a total of 130 points of damage. <laughs> uh, and then for he his bonus action, shockingly, still not dead. <laughs> cool. Uh, for his bonus action, he is going to he's going to stare at. Uh, this Yahoo right here, and he needs to make a wisdom. Wisdom saving throw going right there. Natural one. Uh, he is paralyzed for a minute. He can re save it at the end of his turn. All right, he's not having a good day. Paralyzed and already has advantage on uh, the next attack. I forgot how broken Barry was. I love. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Laura? Um. Oh, well, that was Barry's turn. Now it's Alora. Um. So Alora is twenty feet in the air. Well, technically like forty feet in the air because she was on top of Barry. Um. She. The only thing she can do at range is blood, which has a range of forty. So she's gonna go for this guy right here. For one. It's at advantage, but I don't think 13 will. 13 will not hit. Alright. Uh, still need to roll because I have to take some, a little bit of damage there. I take 3 necrotic and. Oh! Bonus action curse and just kick my feet like a child that's been lifted up in the. Air. All right. Uh, all right, I need to go solve a printer issue. Uh, 
I think we're gonna wrap it up for today. I am so sorry, guys. This is like unbelievable what is happening right now. I understand. So, Just the... With that being said, my consolation prize for canceling on you guys and ending early today, Sporlina. Free porn. Wait. <laughs> you all get a level up. <laughs> yes! And the fungal giant wakes up. Please. Roll LD 100. If it's above a 50, I'll allow uh, I already <laughs> rolled one and I got 100. Damn it. Okay. Did you really? Wait, yes, if where? you scroll roll up in the chat, you'll see that when you were gone last, I rolled a D100 and I literally got a natural 100. You did? I will allow it. That's, that's yeah. awesome. Yay! <laughs> <Sorry. Yeah. laughs> New friend! <laughs> Bigger than Barry! The mass healing word. Well, how much mass healing word did it, it do? It was 26 or something? 26. Okay. All right, he's at 26 then. I'll put him there. Yeah. Uh, I'll still put him. He's down on his knees and stuff. He's also Quote wrapped it up in rope. Uh, all okay. right. Okay. But we will Toss end there. Thank you guys so much car. for appreciating me and allowing me to buy a house. I appreciate it. I mean, we don't want you to be homeless, so. <laughs> uh, he's not homeless. He's started, and you said that there were a couple already dead, so I just, I'm just going to need a number when we finish this combat next week. Ah, gotcha. I will put a <laughs> note for that. All right. All right. See you guys later. Adios. Good luck. Bye.